Having worked so hard to get to the tail end of medical school and having been working from the age of 19 and always being active, being in bed was extremely hard for me. And to suffer from fogged memory, body aches, unable to chew even, was extremely difficult to deal with. All I ever wanted to do was to practice medicine because I felt that was my purpose in life. But I no longer could do that. This is not the first challenge I faced in my life. I faced many challenges before too. But this time, I finally lost hope. I had no desire to go on. Apart from having a supportive family, I was still very inconsolable. I went deep into the rabbit hole of depression and anxiety, and I completely lost hope. That's when I think God sent me an angel to be by my side during these dreadful days. My dog, Kelly. She was my support sister and she still is. She made sure I got out of bed to play with her, walk her. She wouldn't even eat until I ate. She comforted me every single time I went down this rabbit hole of anxiety and depression. Every time I felt alone, lost and confused, she reminded me that I'm not alone and she was always there for me. I'm truly grateful to my little angel, Kelly. As I got a little better, I started to paint. My body was still very inflamed and every joint hurt. But when I started to paint or create, I tuned out everything, my thoughts, my pain, as though I was in a state of flow and my body was healing itself. I started off with a piece of paper and slowly escalated to painting literally every wall, door in my house. A few months passed. My Bell's palsy was getting better. I started to create a lot of videos as another form of my creative outlet, but I never posted them. I disconnected from the world, social media, friends and extended family because I just wanted to be left alone and heal. So I did. It helped me to understand the world better, people, and I regained my cognitive functions as well. My strongest motivation was my dad. When faced with a similar situation 15 years ago, he managed his portfolio of companies from his bed. I'm talking when we didn't even have facilities like we have today. He is truly my inspiration and the thought that my husband and my dad are hurting because of me made me snap out of my downward spiral and made me push harder and harder to make sure I get back on my feet. I started to work and I learned a lot of new skills which enhanced my passion to create. A year passed. As I felt better, my work expanded with new clients. So I needed an office space. So I bought a small office space, a beat up space nobody wanted back then for very little money. I added new floors, painted the walls, redesigned the office and created some funky interiors. When I was about to move in, a client who came to see another office space in the same building asked me whether he could rent my space. And I was pleasantly surprised because the cash flow was great and I said yes. That very year, I got another home by the lake. Called it Lake Haven. This was truly my haven for reconnecting with my creative self. This home was old and outdated. And we spent nine months renovating this home. Every wall, every trim, every paint, every art in this home was done by me. I learned a lot about laying tiles, flooring, wall paints, interior design, and a whole lot more. Every time we renovated a room, I felt like a part of me healed. The transformation was also happening inside as it was happening outside. I dwelled into a whole world of real estate investment and owning vacational and rental homes. This home kickstarted my million dollar portfolio. Today, I have multiple rental and vacational homes. The guest reviews, the joy and excitement they feel every time they stayed in one of our properties gave me a renewed sense of purpose and I realized that I could be serving people in more ways than I previously envisioned. 
I spoil my guests with the best amenities and gifts without worrying about the ROI, especially during the current scenario, as I feel every day is a blessing and I find true happiness when I provide the best service to them. I do this with all my businesses, whether I'm training, coaching, consulting, or even just punching numbers. I'm a happier person as I live every day with gratitude and without judgment or expectations. Even now, I have difficult days where I suffer from severe body aches, swollen face, and extreme fatigue, but I make sure I get up and create. This pandemic has made us all feel unsafe, insecure, and hopeless. Trust me, I know exactly how you might be feeling. But remember, there's always hope. And everything is possible. Just follow your instinct. If I can do it, you can too. And this is my way of reminding you that you're not alone. And the universe has sent us all a Kelly. Just look for it. I might only have one. I can make an explosion